Torch. I got a torch. Oh, hey, ow. Okay, torch doesn't work. Oh my gosh, there's a guy on my roof. Hey guys and gals, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Mist Survival. So a brand new update just landed on Steam. This is early access version 0.3.3, and I'm super excited to get back into some Mist Survival. It's been several months, so... Let's jump in and get started without further ado. The, uh, the list of new stuff is enormous, and rather than uh, list it off to you right now here in the intro, we'll, uh, we'll talk about things as they, uh, as they come up in the game through the gameplay. So, uh, yeah, let's do it right now. Let's, uh, we're going to start a new game. So, anyway, yeah, there's a link down below in the description to the Steam Store page for Miss Survival. Check it out if you like what you see here. It is still in early access, so still being developed. So keep that in mind. Oh, backpack upgrade. Yeah, you find these all over the map, and they add a couple of slots to your inventory. So all these are locked right now, but we'll eventually find all of the uh, the unlocks here and there and everywhere. Oh, look at all the loot. So let's grab it all. We got some food. We got some water, low-grade fuel, and matches. Let's snatch it all up. And there we go. That's what's in the trunk. Let's see if there's anything inside the vehicle over here or the engine. Nothing. Uh, there is some fuel in here, but we don't have a way to get it out. We're going to have to find a jerry can and siphon it. Now, we don't have to do anything over here, but this is our shelter right now. Um, assigned as our current shelter, so if we do happen to die, which is very possible, then we'll end up respawning right here. Now, I don't know where here is, but we're just going to take a little walk. What is that down there? Is that a building? Looks like a gigantic building. Yeah, let's go that way instead of up into the mountains. So we're looking for civilization. So here's the backstory. It's been a few years. Whoop, something down there. A leaf. Don't leave it behind. Ba -dum -bum uh yeah, a few years ago, some kind of a, a something happened. <laughs> a post-apocalyptic event. This mist rolled in, hence the name of the game. And it uh, it turned a lot of people into feral beasts. I see some red over there. Must be is that a car? Ooh. Got my dukes up. Nice! Oh, look at that. You can block now. Oh. Oh, you got left punches? And... Where's my right? There we go. So it just alternates. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this event happened a few years ago. And a bunch of people got turned into feral beasties. Another hard stick. And they're still out there. They do like to... Um, oh, there's a branch. A regular branch. I told you. I knew there are regular branches around. Cool. Um, yeah, so they hide during the day because they do tend to burn up in the sun. So, they're not zombies per se, but they're infected is what they're called. They're more like, uh, I think I Am Legend, kind of like um, vampires that hide during the day, but they do come out at night, and they do come uh, when the mist rolls in. The, the mist does roll in occasionally. Now, some people like us are immune to the mist, so we got lucky. And uh, there's also other NPCs in the game too. There's good guys and bad guys. Or rather, there are um, prisoners that we can save, and they can become our friends, and we can bring them to a base, and they can help us out surviving and that sort of thing. Oh, there's an infected right there. Hello. You see him in the barn? Hello. Come on out here, buddy. Yeah, they do not like the sun. So as long as the sun is shining, we should be okay, because he'll, uh, he'll start to burn up and then turn around and go back. Ooh, blueberries. Nice. I'm not really very hungry right now, so we'll hold on to that. See if we can attract this guy, get his attention, show you what it's like. Oh, here he comes! Whoa! All right, let's get a little distance and watch him cook. Oh! Oh, I see! I see smoke and little uh, sparks. Oh, that's awesome! That is new. <laughs> Apparently, there's a bunch of new anime. Whoa, dude! You're burning. Just saying. Yeah, a bunch of new animations now. Uh, a couple of new models. There's a lot of new items. There's a torch now that apparently you can make and uh, and scare the infected away. So I wonder... Is that new? I think a torch is new. I'm going to watch you burn. I'm going to watch you burn, boy. There he goes, running back in. It burns, doesn't it? Oh, man, I love the new effects. The smoke and the sparks. That, uh, that definitely reminds me of I Am Legend, the movie um, with Will Smith, right? Okay, here's our torch right here. We need sharp sticks and rags. So, we can make the sharp sticks easily enough right here, but we don't have the rags. We've got to look around for rags. No big deal. You know what? We can move this stuff down here. Free up some hand slots. 
Right, and I think this down there too. Let's just eat the berries. Uh, yeah, eat them all. There we go. All right, so this is a new location. I've never seen this location before. Apparently, it is overrun with the infected. So we're not going to be able to go in there without a torch or a gun or some kind of a weapon anyway. So let's see what we can find around here. Oh, there's some wood and some scrap. All this stuff can be used to craft items that we're going to want to craft to help us survive, obviously. Uh, we're going to hunker down at a base before the sun goes down, hopefully, because these guys will come out at night and mill around. And if the mist rolls in, which is kind of a random event that happens, you don't really have any control over it, you don't know when it's going to happen, then we got to duck inside somewhere anyway. Um, so hopefully that does not happen before we find a spot to hide out in for a little while, at least for the for the night. All right, not seeing a lot around here. Can't open that, huh? Nothing here. Yeah, this is a new location. This was not here before. So apparently there's some new spots on the map. It is not a procedurally generated map. It's actually a big static um, handcrafted thing. Uh, what's over there? Yeah, let's go that way. I see a little... Some kind of a base or a shelter or something. So, yeah, I, I do... Oh, wait, cars. We've got cars here. So, yeah, I, um... I kind of remember the old map. But this is all new to me, this, this location here. So I'm not really sure exactly where we are. And there's no in-game map, so I can't bring that up and figure out my location. But sooner or later, I'll spot something that I recognize would be some kind of a landmark and then uh, then I'll know where we are hopefully <laughs> now these cars right here just for decoration you can break them down if you have the proper tool I think you need a sledgehammer and you can get some materials from them you can even fix up cars and drive them but you gotta get engine parts this car here is not drivable it's a very specific type of car that you can drive oh look at that we got a helmet here nice Grab it all, and let's put on that helmet. Right click, equip, goes right on the old noggin. It's a SWAT helmet that'll protect our head from uh, head trauma for a little while anyway. All right, this is all just a bunch of junk that we can't pick up. Did I check under the hood? Yeah, nothing there. So yeah, if we can fix up a car, then we can drive around, and obviously that is something we're gonna wanna do pretty soon. We can get around faster. Let's go over here. It looks like some kind of um, shack or something. I do not recall this location. It does not look familiar to me. But we don't want to just barge right in all willy-nilly. It could be, uh, could be some hostiles in there. Um, not just infected, but also raiders and bandits. Is my flashlight still on? Yeah, or randits. They're even worse combined raiders and bandits but it looks like it's safe in fact i think that's a base guys yeah that right there looks like a base or at least a shack that we can turn into a base oh there's a um ranger tower up there too which are really really nice because they can have weapons potentially yeah that right there is a shelter we can turn that into a base that's that little gear right there in the front so we'll go do that we can hole up there for the night but first let's grab all the scrap around here don't want to pass up anything. Look at all the rocks. We got metal scrap, rocks, sticks, all the good stuff that we're going to use for uh, for crafting here in a moment. But let's go turn this into an actual uh, into our actual base, and then in case we die, we'll end up spawning here. So yeah, let's do that right now. We'll come back for all the stuff all over the ground. Oh, an axe! <gasps> Ooh, uh oh, I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. Let's put a coke down here. Grab that axe, baby. Oh, yeah. First weapon. So this is all different now, too. We have a left hand, two slots in the left hand, and then one in the main. So let's bring out our axe. So apparently we can do some dual wielding now. So that's something new. And we've got a little bottle here. Empty bottle. We'll leave that right there to signify our redneck shack. And let's kill that light so you can see. Yeah, this is a, um, a shelter. And we can make this our active base by... Click in here. So there we go. And now if we find any other survivors, and you can find um, you can find prisoners being held by the randits, then uh, if you free them, you can send them back to your base and they can guard it for you. If you give them weapons, they'll defend it. Um, and they can also craft for you as well. 
So you can give them tasks to do around the base. So that's pretty cool. But uh, we have a long way before we get there. We cannot attack a bandit base till we have some actual weapons. Now, what is that? What am I missing here? A branch. All right, we're going to drop some things on the ground. Um, well, let's put it inside, I suppose, now that we have a base. We'll be safe in here for the night. Drop the saw. We don't need it. And this stuff should not despawn. As far as I recall, stuff on the ground that you drop will not despawn. And we just want to make a little bit of space here so we can go up to that um, to that ranger tower and go uh, and go loot it. Let's drop the sticks out front, and I think that should be enough space for now. I don't want to drop everything because I'm not really sure about that theory. If stuff uh, does not despawn, so I don't want to lose all the goodies. Um, another hard stick. We'll come back and get that. We don't have. What time is it? How much time? Is it? Okay, it's only 10:43. It's still pretty early in the day, so we don't have to worry about nighttime just yet. But um, the mist could roll in at any time. We'll check it out. We got bears here. Bear crossing right here. That's not good. <laughs> but they can't break into our shelter. But they can jump you when you come out if you're not prepared. All right, let's go get that ranger tower. Hopefully there's a gun there. Some other good loot. Oh, blueberries. Yum, yum, yum. Let's eat them up right now. Get a little hunger, a little thirst. And I think that restores some fatigue. Yeah, that fatigue is going to slowly go down throughout the day. And sooner or later, we're going to have to sleep. You can't just keep running around all day long without, uh, without resting at some point. I really don't want to pick up all these sticks, but let's, um, well, let's bring them. I see stuff all over the ground, but I want to go check this out first. Keep your eyes open for bears. Bears are about. Yeah, most of the stuff out here in the in the woods that you find are going to be rocks and sticks. We don't have to be too concerned about that. We want the good loots. Uh, oh, this is new. Is that water inside there? Unfortunately, you can't interact with it. So apparently we can grow crops now. Uh, let's bring up our crafting menu and have a quick look at some of the new stuff here. We got the torch, which is new. Bandages are not new. Spear, this is new. But we need a knife to make the spear. We can make a wooden shield now, but we need a hammer and a bunch of other materials. So that's cool. And then we have this other menu here. And this is all like the, um, the sheltery stuff. Cooking um, devices and water barrels, stumps, tanning racks, all that. And then new cabins now. Look at that. We can whip up hunting cabins. Three different varieties. That's sweet. And we have fences and coops. Uh, we got some lights. Let me get power. Some furniture. Beds. Uh, tables. Cabinets. A target dummy. And here's the farming right here. Pretty cool. And even uh, flower pots. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! Here we are playing around with my crafting menu and the mist is rolling in. Oh, drat. Um, alright, let's do this quick. How do we get up here? I want to get back to the other shelter. We can do some crafting down there. We have a lot of material. Now, there's not usually infected or bandits in ranger towers. Oh, this one's weird. Door is open. Oh, look at this. We have a, a suitcase. Nice. We can actually put stuff in here and carry it like that. So why don't we do that? Just pick it right up and move it, and we'll bring that back with us. But, yeah, this is different than the ones I recall in the old version. But no gun here, unfortunately. Oh, that's nice, though. Got some ammunition. More ammo. Just need a gun to put it in. Uh, let's make sure we get all of these cabinets. I don't want to miss them. How about that last one? I don't think I can open that last one, can we? Looks like one, two, three drawers. All right. Three drawers. Let's go. Quick. Got to get down there before the infected come out. They do come out in the mist. I'm going to drop that right there. Anything over here? Nothing. Yeah, no weapon is kind of a shame. No firearm, that is. At least we have our axe. I'm going to pick this up and race back. Is this the way we came up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Looks like there's something up there, too. Ooh. Well, we should go check that out. <laughs> I know we're taking a bit of a risk here, but... Yeah, there's no door. Okay, this is a bit of a risk. It's actually a big risk. Because right now, if there's any infected in here, 
They'll chase us forever. They won't stop now. Oh, knife! <gasps> Grab it! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, with the mist, the mist blocks the sun. So they will uh, they will chase us until they either catch us or we get away. We get a bucket. That's sweet. Okay, no gun. It's a fan. We can't use the fan. Um, all right, let's get out of here. Oh, holy cow. Uh, what's that? I don't need a stick. Let's get down the road. I know I'm running past a bunch of stuff here. Oh, no. There's an infected. Hopefully we have enough stamina to stay ahead of him. Got to get to the base and close the door. Oh, my gosh. I think, I think, I think we got enough space between us to run in and close the door. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh, I wrecked him. All right. Close the door now. <sighs> How are we doing health-wise? Oh, we're fine. Okay. And no injuries. Status? We're fine. Yeah. I forgot that they can actually follow you in. <laughs> I thought we were in the clear, but uh, I couldn't get the door fast enough. He had an electronic part on him. He's got a circuit board on him. What the heck? He must have been a computer guy or something. All right, computer guy. You're in my way. I'm trying to pick up my... Um, Suitcase, but now he's in the way. You can drag that body. Can't drag the body. Well, let's double tap. Just in case. I can't destroy the shelter. Denied. I don't really want to destroy the shelter. Uh, Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get organized. I'm going to put... Um, oh, I can't even grab that thing because that guy is in the way. Yeah, so, like I said, it's an early access game, so you got to deal with all these little nuances and things. Um, all right, let's move that over there and all this stuff here. I'm just going to get organized and then we're going to come up with a plan. I'm going to hang on to the knife because we're going to use that. Uh, well, that can be used as a weapon for sneaking up and stabbing the infected from behind. And also uh, bandits, which is actually a pretty good way to take them out quietly and one, one hit. But we can also use that for crafting. All right, that looks good. Now, let's do some crafting. I think the first thing we want to make is a torch. If we have, uh, do we have enough cloth? We do. We have two cloth, and we need sticks. Did I drop sticks down here? Uh, did I leave them outside? Yeah, right here. Quickly, quickly. I hope I have enough. We're going to need four sticks, right? Yeah, four. Perfect. So we're going to sharpen up these sticks. It's going to take eight minutes. Now, we're going to craft this ourselves, but if we get... Um, a friend, if we find a survivor out there, bring them back to the base, then we can put them on these sorts of um, crafting jobs. Oh, oh, I hear some snuffling around out there. There we go. We've got four sticks, and now we can make our torch. Where is it? Right here. And it's going to take 15 minutes. It's okay. We're safe inside here, as long as we stay away from the windows and the door stays closed. In fact, it cannot get inside this shelter. There we go. And now we have a torch. Now let's try it out. What do we do with it? And fuel. It needs fuel? Oh, here we go. Oh, do wielding. Holy cow. Add fuel. F to light it. Oh, apparently it comes with fuel. <laughs> and we can swing it. Oh, right. Oh, right mouse button swing. Yes. Yeah, so this is... Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so we can, uh, we can use it as a weapon. And we can try to scare away the uh, the infected. So at least that's what it says on the notes, that that will work. Oh, berries. Let's go try it out. I see an infected over here. Hello, buddy. Yoo-hoo. Hey. Hey, bud, over here. All right, I don't want this torch to run out of fuel. I don't know how to refuel it. I don't know how long it's going to last. Now, this should work. It's two of them. Oh, boy. I don't like the odds, but as long as it works. So right-click is waving in front of my face. Hi! Here he comes. Torch! I got a torch! Oh! Hey! Ow! Okay, torch doesn't work. Oh my gosh, there's a guy on my roof. Hey, get off my roof, you jerk. Close the door. <sighs> it didn't work. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe it's bugged. Oh my gosh. Alright, well that was frightening. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm, I'm tempted to open the door and try it again, but... I don't want those two guys to get in here. They'll kill me. Health is down just about half. Oh my. That was uh, that was a little scary. Alright, go away. We don't serve your kind here. Don't you guys know the rules? You're supposed to be afraid of fire. Dang it. Alright, well you know what then? Let's just 
turn it off. Um, I think the mist is clearing, so they're gonna they're gonna die, and hopefully drop some loot. Now I'm wondering if this fuel can be used to refuel the torch. So that says 61 liters. Let's uh, let's try. That's 81.9. All right, what was the button? V. You can hear like a gulping sound. Oh, it, it worked. Okay, yeah, yeah. So low grade fuel fuels the torch, basically just pouring it back on the rag, I guess, right? Oh, that's cool. Um, although it doesn't really matter because it. Ow! Oh, dude, got me right through the door. Oh, you. Well, if he got me through the door, can I get him through the door? And he died. And he sucker punched me, and then he died. <laughs> oh, look at all those little particles. He's smoking. Oh, he is smoking. Oh, grab him before he disappears. Is it just the one of them? I guess it's just the one. I thought there were two of them there. Um, that is really cool. I love that effect. I wonder if the body is going to disintegrate. Well, I'm going to put the torch away because clearly it's not working as intended. So I guess we don't need to carry it around. Um, hopefully that gets fixed or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. Anywho. All right, let's go up to that little building up here and then we'll call it quits how much uh, junk do we have here let me just dump some stuff out of the pockets we should be safe now the mist usually only happens if it happens it's just once a day although wait a minute let's craft up a we can make a spear now right Ooh, yeah let's craft a spear 20 minutes wow just a sharp and a stick and that's all it takes is one one hard stick can we put that here um, no, I don't think so. So we put it here in our main hand. There we go. All right. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's going to be nice. Hopefully this gives us a little extra range. All right. And super easy to make, too. It's just a stick. Okay. Did we miss anything up here? I think we got everything. But just in case, let's have another look around. I don't know if all these drawers are independent. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's six drawers here. I didn't notice that before because it was misty and I was scared. But yeah, so looks like he can open them all individually. Pretty cool. All right. Nothing else here. All right. I really want to try this spear. Um, wait a minute. Is that another ranger tower? Uh, yeah. So this is a different ranger tower. Oh, and a car. Yes, this car right here is a drivable car, but I bet it doesn't have everything we need. Nah, it's got nothing. <laughs> so we need everything. Gas, we need an engine, spark plug, battery, and four. Yeah, oh, yeah, four tires. Uh, right. Yeah, this thing is not going anywhere right now. But we'll come back and fix that up, and we'll have a drivable vehicle. That's going to be awesome for getting around. So this is this is new too. I don't remember this location or all this stuff here. Oh yeah, can of beef, shotgun shells, and a flip flop. All right, so these are relatively safe. Just gonna run right up. Oh, okay, this is the tower I was thinking about, not an actual door. And that backpack is super awesome. So we got a couple more slots now, and we have this cabinet, the two cabinets. So not only do these have stuff in them, but we can we can carry these and bring them back down to our base. So that's fantastic. Can't open that desk. So we're just going to grab the stuff out of these cabinets and then get out of Dodge. And I'm going to bring these two, uh, these two cabinets down. So, but I will do that off camera. Unfortunately, no guns here either. Sometimes you find a shotgun or a handgun in here, but looks like the developer's making it a little bit harder to find them, which uh, is fine by me. I'm okay with that. Now, we can only take one of these at a time. So let's grab the loots out of that one, and then we'll bring this one. Did I close that door? Did somebody close that door to me? I, I don't think I closed that door. And we'll just bring this one down. And we can just drop it. Do we want to drop it down there? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's make sure we can retrieve it. Whoa, whoa, oh no! There it goes. Uh, Just watch where that went. Right there. Okay, I did not do that. It fell out of my hands. It's very heavy and slippery. 
Well, we'll go snatch him. Wow! And I'm, I'm, oh yeah, that's not good. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> this is what happens when you rush. But what time is it? Yeah, it's only two o'clock, so. Oh! Hi! That's a bear. Uh, okay. He seems uh, focused on something down there. Let's not, let's not trouble him. And let's go get our, um, where did that thing go? The locker. Oh, there it is. Okay, down there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks a little tricky. Let's save it here. <laughs> yeah, I do like the save anywhere feature. I don't like games where I have to um, either build something first or sleep or find a shelter, that kind of thing. It's very nice just to be able to save it and then um, not worry about losing your progress. Hi, bear. Just passing through, buddy. Oh, yeah, I think he's doing yoga or something. He's really, really focused. Let's not bother the bear. Oh, look, farm equipment. Okay, this is a, a new road. I'm going to go back to the shelter and get reorganized for next time. And I'm going to do that quick before the sun goes down because apparently the infected do come out at night now. So that's pretty exciting. There it is, home sweet home. And boy, this is just not the same without Bobby the Redneck Chicken. So we got to go find Bobby the uh, the Redneck Chicken at the farm at some point. All right, let's put the spear away. There we go. And now um, we're just going to get organized. Now I can, I think I can rotate this, right? Q and R. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Huh? Pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll put that right in the corner. I might even go get the other one, too if there's time but now oh shift click still doesn't work huh what a shame hopefully they do something with that soon and now i'm just going to get organized and i'll see you guys in the next episode hope you enjoyed and have a good day bye bye